Nash. Nash. Oh. Poor bit of fielding by Brendan Nash. And uh, that will give South Africa the first boundary of uh, the morning. So it's not a very encouraging start for the West Indies in the field. It's 3 or 6 for 3. Hammered. Short through mid wicket and goes away for four well very short on uh, a placid pitch and he was in position really early for this one Ebedi Villiers has one of the better transitions from defense to attack in the game with little effort he gets his balance right and is able to come from high to low in, in playing that short ball in terms of his back lift Breaks the sequence. Nash is after it, the ball holding up before it gets to the boundary. He'll come for a third. He's got that one away well. Not all that short, but he picked up the length, the line very, very early and smashed it away. Isn't the talked about transition here with AB de Villiers from defense to attack? So easy. Just back of a length. This is what you wait. You wait for your moments as a batsman. You respect a good period of bowling. And then you pounce on anything. You have the patience and the ability to pounce on anything loose, marginally even. Magnificent stroke. Half volley length crashed away. Uh, De Villiers on song in uh, this over. And uh, Ravi Rampal paying the price. Who will break first? One of the good things about this pitch from a batting perspective is that with shots with like these, the ball will come onto the bat sufficiently that you can trust the bounce and the pace and play through the line of the ball with some assurance. That is beautiful to watch. He's heaved that one away. That's a big one. Some six rows back. It's not a big ground. And then maybe in some other grounds, even here in the Caribbean, he might have been taken at the wide long on boundary, but it's a safe hit here at the Warner Park. And in order to keep the game moving forward, the runs now have to be able to come at a fair enough pace. This will get to the boundary at a mid-wicket. Overpitched and uh, Ebedi Villiers joining in the fun. 392 for three. Use of the feet again, very effective. You've got feet, use them. And Ebedi Villiers continuing to live to that maximum. But we've seen a distinct changing of the tempo since that, what, eight or nine overs with the second new ball, where South Africa's batsmen were relatively quiet. We've seen a shift in the gears here as we head towards lunch to keep the game moving forward. There have been a few runs off Schillingford, a few runs off Bravo and off Rampol's last over as well. One away from 50, A.B. de Villiers. And there he gets it, as easy as you please. Helped considerably by a very poor first delivery from Suleiman Ben. That's a half century for A.B. de Villiers. And uh, the 400 also comes up. He's gone for the pull and he's gone all the way with it. Now we see the real strength of A.B. de Villiers. Uh, adaptable front foot, back foot, and a six over mid wicket. Again, it's quick feet, quick hands. It's uh, not a lot of pace in this pitch for the spinners. And as soon as they're a fraction short, he makes depth in the crease and fast hands. Roach running into bowl. A beautiful stroke by De Villiers. A little run away for four, which maybe we'll just congratulate him on and move on because this is the last, will be the last ball of the over. Um, just watch Roach, which is uh, this man over 
This man, if I can find, I know I'm struggling. This man here, okay. And um, this is two pictures overlaid. That's why you're seeing two lots of fielders, two different run ups, and he's perfectly in sync. Absolutely perfectly in sync. That's another good shot from De Villiers. It's raced down the ground for four more. Yeah, yeah. That would be four. Very loose delivery. I've seen too many of those from Shane Chillingford. But the shot gave maybe De Villiers enough time to just whip it around behind square. De Villiers, who has got 82. Now in strike to Schillingford. In the air. And beats the fielders, goes directly between them. The cries of catch it, but this is so beautifully placed by De Villiers. He, he does give me the impression most of the time that when he selects an area, he hits it at that area. And in fact, De Villiers conquers it and uh, sweeps it hard and firmly for four. I think we'll just find De Villiers moving a little bit outside the leg stump here, moving to leg to play the shot, anticipating. Sets himself so early for that stroke. Almost knowing where Ben's likely to want to pitch it. The fact that he's got it in front of square has got him four. Behind square might have only got him one or two. Down he goes, and this will bring up his 100 with a six. So A.B. de Villiers, third century maker of the innings. Tenth test 100 for him. And in the most emphatic way, a four and a six of successive balls gets him there in a hurry. 100 of 130 deliveries. That's his third six, 13 fours. And in the circumstances, you would have backed him to get it from the time he came in. Over the top, that's another good hit. It's going to clear the long on, or will it? It's coming around and he can't take the catch, Suleiman Ben. For a moment, he thought about giving it up and uh, then recognizing that it might just come down inside the rope. Stuck out the hand. Tried to get across to it, but would have been extremely difficult anyway. The momentum might have taken him over the rope in any event. Looking to go over the top once more. And uh, that's gone away for another six. Well, there's a little bit more urgency being shown. And with these small boundaries, Shane Schillingford is being made to earn his corn. Into his 50th over, he's gone for 174. There's another one. That's gone a long way. It's gone all the way down to Bastyr. Right over the roof. Another six off Schillingford. Does he deserve this kind of punishment? Three for 193, 533 for six. Gone an awful long way, way, way small ground, but it doesn't matter. Way over the roof. It's a reasonably high roof. Still looking for it. I saw De Villiers have a chat after he's done this with Stain, looking at the middle of his bat. I think he was saying something along the lines of, "I've got a little beauty in my hands here." 